The school bully suddenly strangled Jake and pressed him into the water. The school bully let go of Jake only when he was about to suffocate. Once on shore, the school bully picks up the binoculars Jake borrowed. Jake asked him to put it down, but the school bully threw the binoculars into the lake. Jake was completely enraged, and he picked up a wooden stick and knocked the school bully to the ground. Jake then quickly ran into the lake to look for the binoculars, but because the water was too deep, he searched for a long time but couldn't find them. He had no choice but to go ashore at this time, the school bully was still lying motionless on the ground. Jake thought he had killed someone and scrambled to pick up his clothes and run away. After running for a while, he felt uneasy about his conscience and ran back to the lake to save the school bully. But when he returned to the lake, the school bully and his clothes were gone, leaving only a pool of blood on the ground. He didn't dare go back to the orphanage, so he slept on the side of the highway for the night. 